Hi Uniques, this video is about flashcards. So, I decided I'm going to be working with Ava at home. She is definitely really behind for her age and we all know she's not verbal and doesn't speak. So I talked to this woman who um, is part of the nonprofit for autism I'm a part of. And if you want to check it out, it is Autism Sprinter on Facebook. This is like the best group and they feel like a family. But she was saying how I done move from one side to the other. Like now I want to participate and be a part of all of Ava's successes and work on her successes and such things. Um, people say, you know, you're a great mom and you're doing so much. But a lot of times I feel like I'm not doing enough. So now every night we are going to be working on something. We started with flashcards because I do not have a degree in early childhood so I really didn't know what to start with. And they are cartoon pictures which I think we might need real pictures. Not so sure. We will see. Um, but I'm really looking for a homeschool plan for autistic nonverbal child. And I've been doing some researching online. And the whole point is to get her to stop crying while we're doing it. So when we started, she would cry the whole time. So now, you know, I only do it for 10 or 15 minutes. I set the timer and we work on it for 10 or 15 minutes. I might um, show you one of the videos of her doing it in here somewhere. Moo! Yay! She gave me the cow. And, um... She now comes to the table and sits down. She's not a willing participant through the whole thing, though, which can be a, a, a problem and a deal. But, you know, every time, every day it gets a little better and a little easier. She seems to pick up the correct flashcards when she's not upset, opposed to being a little upset or crying or just wants to finish. If she just wants to finish, she just picks up any flashcard. But I really feel like we're making strides. Um... I'm going to start tallying how good she does, like ABA does, to see if we're making progress. But since it's been the first couple of weeks, I haven't done that. I also focused on her doing coloring. Um, she doesn't really hold the um, crayon properly. My cousin told me I should get like um, a triangle shaped crayon because that helps them hold them properly. And then I read a couple of books because the thing is to get her to sit in one place. So she's in her booster chair and she's sitting there and I, you know, read a few books uh, and I'm going to work in other things and the main focus is the flashcards to get that memory up, to, you know, get that communication up. She has been working with the PAC system at school and, you know, we'll, we'll, I will give updates on the additional speech therapy once we get that far. Also, I did get a gift from another autism mother, Rachel, which I will show you in another video. So pray for us. We are doing the damn thing. I am trying to get my child to communicate and talk to me and see if that would be possible. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back.